Video end screen cards like these can send more views to more of your videos and everybody has access to them. So here's how to set them up. There are two ways to add end screens to your YouTube videos. First up, during the desktop upload workflow, you'll hit a page called Video Elements. You have two choices here, import end screen from another video or manually add new ones. If you've already finished uploading a video, go to the content page in the YouTube studio and mouse over the video. Keep an eye on this vidIQ button, we'll get back to this later, but for now go to the edit detail screen and if you scroll down a bit on the right hand side, you can add end screens here. Unfortunately, as of time of recording, you can't add end screens from a mobile phone unless you force desktop mode on your browser. The end screen tool will show you the last 20 seconds of your video, which is the maximum length of an end screen. You can scrub up and down the timeline if you need to. Above that, you'll see a few template end screen styles you can add to the video. We'll start with a super simple one, a video and playlist element in each corner of a video. These are what the elements will look like on your video and this is how long they will last. You can click and drag on the edge of the element to lengthen or shorten its duration. The minimum length is five seconds. If there is something wrong with the end screens, you'll get a warning message at the top. You won't be able to save until you fix these issues. In this case, I need to link up a playlist to my playlist elements and elements cannot overlap each other. Oh, and by the way, end screens don't have to be at the very end of a video. They can appear and disappear at any point in the last 20 seconds of a video. Now, if you've already set up end screens on another video, you can simply import them to the video you are editing. It will carbon copy the elements themselves, the links in those elements, the position of the elements on screen, and the length of the elements in the timeline. But what if you wanted to bulk copy end screens from one video to many videos? Well, remember that vidIQ button we mentioned earlier? Let's repay that a visit. If you use the copy end screen tool, you can select exactly which end screen elements you want to copy from one video, and then select which videos on your channel you would like to copy those end screens over to. You just need to be aware that you could overwrite existing end screens on videos, and always use bulk tools on a small sample size first so you can understand exactly how that tool works. There are several styles of end screen elements you can choose, but the maximum is four elements per video. Some will give you a variety of options, such as the video end screens. For many end screen elements, you will have to search on YouTube to find what you want to add. In this example, I'm adding Mr. Beast channel as an end screen, which also requires a custom message. As well as being able to move elements around your video, you can also resize some of them. You can also delete elements by using the bin icon. You can also add a link to the video to send people to your website. Just make sure that any links you add follow the YouTube community guidelines. If you want to take your end screens to the next level design wise you can create end screen templates in your videos like good energy minority mindset and think media have done here here are some of the end screen maker tools that you can try and you'll find links to all of these in the video description and all of that just leaves us with one more thing testing them i recommend you start off with this end screen that will give you some advanced strategies on how to use them <laughs>